Well, look at here what's in my driveway. This looks like Steampunk Steve's bus. Yes, in fact it is. Hey! Hey! Hello. There he is! The one, the only, Steampunk Steve. If you're not watching his videos, you should be, because you're missing the good stuff. Alright, so how's it going? I really like what you did with this thing. I wish you'd uh, made your videos before I did my bus. Well, you know, <laughs> you just got started sooner than me. Yeah. Let me uh, shut the door so we can keep the cat in here. All right. Now, well, as we'll start up here, is, okay. uh, it's a 99 Bluebird. It's got a 5.9 Cummings diesel in it. It's about, uh, 208,000 miles now. I put 7,000 on it since November, traveling around the country. And uh, if you've seen my videos, you've seen that I have a few hats. So, one or two. Yeah, one or two. Hat for every occasion and then some. So, all right. But, uh, so back here, went back, is uh, got my uh, big heater, propane. The uh, propane tank's outside, and uh, that warms this right up. Yeah, that's what I need. I have a, a what is an Olympic Wave 8, but it doesn't kick out as much as this thing does. And yeah, it's this not is quite enough. A little oversized, but better. I better too figured, hot than too cold. Yes. Exactly. I can always turn it down. <laughs> right. Uh, it doesn't have a thermostat, so I can't leave it going at night, but that's okay. Sure. You know, I want to warm when I'm hanging out here in bed. I've got. And I'll wake up in the morning on a cold morning, I'll fire this thing up, go back to bed, read for a bit, and everything's warm. So. Well, you're pretty well insulated in here, too, as yeah, I remember. Yeah, I spray foamed everything. Yeah. You can actually see up here where oh, I haven't yeah. finished the trim yet. Right. Um, yeah, look at that. That's I was going to do it again. I would have waited till it was warmer out because the skin wasn't that warm, so it didn't expand as much as it should have. But... It's pretty quiet in here. I mean, my first test was a big rainstorm, and I couldn't hear that ding, 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 ding on the Oh, field. really? Ooh. So, yeah, it quiets right down. Wow. Um, so, and uh, my my bed, there's all kinds of tool storage underneath, because I'm not giving up my tools. No, never. <laughs> At least the small tools, the big ones I had to give up. Um, I've got solar on the roof. Okay. I've got 180... 280 watt panels, 24 volt, and switches over to the 12 volt. So I've got uh, batteries are underneath the dinette seat here. And I left this open so you can see it. You have that wonderful MPPVT controller. Yep. So I'm envious of. So. Right now I was getting, um, well, wait for it to come around again. Uh, I was getting something like 34 volts off of those two panels. I mean, it. it they're 24 volt, but they go mm -hmm. high. They step up, yeah. And I was getting a lot of amps. I mean, right now I'm getting about five amps coming in. Well, that's really on good. The positive side, so. That's really good. Yep. From it's, my experience, I can tell you because I have 400 watts, right? And I know what the climate is like here. Yeah. And that, yeah, your controller is doing a good job. The highest I've much. seen has been about 13. Really. And wow. that was a nice sunny day, and my batteries are low, so the thing. And how many? Through. What was it? Your solar again? Um, what is it? How many solar um, panels? Uh, I've got 280 watt, 24 volt panels. Okay, yeah. yeah. So That's quite a bit, yeah. Yeah, and then the MP, the MPPT switches it over to 12 volt. Mm -hmm. It's actually putting 14 volts yeah. into the battery. Right, so. right. Converts current, or it yep. converts the extra voltage into current. Right. Which uh, is and why then, they're more uh, efficient. I've got my controls here, my my uh, propane's on a solenoid, so I can turn it on and off without having to go outside in the cold. Yep, that's um, on my to-do list. The battery, I mean the uh, water, I figured red for fire, blue for water, <laughs> green for its light. Mm. So I've got this light for over the, the table and... Did you make that light? No, actually, uh, it's an antique. Really? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Somebody put it up on Facebook, uh, this antique shop had a sale, and I woke up and like, Eight, 8 o'clock in the morning, I was working afternoons, woke up, looked at my Facebook, and went, <gasps> quick! Gotta have it. Off to the antique shop, yeah, this is, and I put, uh, just put uh, 
an LED strip in there. Same thing. Oh, that's put, yeah, that's cool. They put down here. Right. So. Right. And uh, when I did all this, putting the the um, manuals right here that go with all this, so that I don't have to search for them. Theoretically. Very nice. Yep. And then the uh, the uh, LED string lights. Um, I can change the colors. You know. Look at that. I can make it go disco. You're all ready for Oregon Hippie Festivals with that exactly. kind of setup. Yep. And what's nice is if I'm going to go out stargazing or something, I can set it on red. I could be running in and out, and the red's not going to mess up my night vision. Right. So then my, my control panel here, I made that so that I can open it up and get to the wiring in, in behind. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Although some of them are a little short. It, uh, Pardon the pun, huh? It was an short, but Better short than shorted. <laughs> yeah. And actually, um, what I just did was I added, uh, when I turn on this one, I was going to do all three, um, but over my the uh, dashboard, there's a little blue light or a little light that lights up. So that if I sit down to drive away, I've done this before. I'm morning, I'm in a rush. I, I sit down and go, did I leave, turn the propane off or the water? Right. Well, now I'll have the indicator light right there. Oh, nice. If they're off, I'm ready to go. I, I worry more about the the water uh, because I've got a cat who likes to run around and push stuff. And if she pushes the, uh, you know, I could be driving down the road and all 42 gallons will empty from one tank to the other and I'm bone dry. Yeah, so, yeah. Hasn't happened yet, but yeah, my cat's evil. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I worked at a hotel that was going through a renovation. If you watch my first video, you'll see two of these leaning up against the side of the bus because they threw 52 of them away. Yes, I remember that. So I took two and um, cut the edge off so that I've got a prep area. I put my garbage right here so I can just scrape right in. Here, let me see that again. I love that. That's, what it's kind of full. hardware did you use for that? It's just a drawer pull. Okay. Or just a drawer slide. And I you One know, of the heavy duty ones. Yeah, well, these are actually really light because I oh, had these garbage but uh -huh. for the... Uh, um, I pull out pantry. Okay, so those are the, the those ones are with the ball duty. bearings and the wheels and yeah. everything. And I actually found out it was cheaper for me to buy 10 sets of these than it was to buy the seven that I needed. Really? Yeah. That's so funny. I ended up with three extra, right. which is nice because when I made this cabinet to put my little refrigerator in, uh -huh. uh, my original refrigerator wasn't working for me. I got this little 12 volt one, made this, but I made it so this pulls out. Oh, okay. So that I can get to all those wires that I can't reach through there. Oh, that's really cool. I just need to adjust this because it doesn't quite go back yet. Uh huh. But it's well, there. a little piece of molding <laughs> right there will make it so it's back. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, the thing is, this, these two sides were the same. The the bulkheads are the same, but it's something's. They don't match up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if I can get this back so it's it's this gap doesn't show, I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. And it'll be even over here. So, But then I've got my, uh, well, the floor is I got this stuff from uh, the big orange box. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's thick foam, goes together, looks like wood. I like it a lot. Yeah, I almost used that stuff, but yeah, it's, they didn't have it locally, so I couldn't really test it out, and I didn't want to mail order yeah. it. And, you can get this stuff. Well, I bought some um, gray from Harbor Freight. I had it in a kitchen in a place I used to live. I loved it because I mm -hmm. like cooking barefoot, but I don't want to stand on tile. Sure. And this stuff was nice, and I could pick it up. I could take all this stuff, pull it up, take it outside, wash it off, let it dry, bring it back in, and put it back together. Yeah, I should probably so. put that in my kitchen because I have Traffic Master, but it's starting to buckle in yeah. the water and the heat. And well, if you notice the, the buckling right back there, I don't know if it'll show up on camera. I put this together, it was a little chilly, and then it went to Florida. <laughs> oh. And everything expanded a little bit. Uh huh. So it's just me getting down and. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, I, can, yeah. I can't see it, but I can feel it. Well, this is pushing against that, it's pushing against this, it's pushing against, you know, everything's. So. They should I leave just, an eighth inch or so, huh? I just need to, yeah. I didn't leave the gap for expansion. But. Yeah, okay. So anyway, okay, so you got the, the two, there's two pantries, so oh, they, they go all the way back, so they're full. I've got to do that. About 30 inches back. 
I got to make one of those. So this is really nice woodwork. Yeah. And then, uh, thanks. Really nice. I made children's chairs and box cabinets for kit made kitchen stuff and for myself. And uh, I could tell you it had some experience doing stuff time. like this because, yeah. yeah, so very nice work. Basically, that's what this is. It's a whole lot of big boxes. It's yeah. boxes I sleep in, boxes I put food in, boxes I hang on the you know, boxes for. No, it's just big boxes. It's just how you put them together. Oh, yeah. um, big box bus. I forgot to tell about this is because the windows are lower than the countertop, I left a well. Oh, that's right. I was going to point that out because right. I love this. Because right now it's just full of stuff, but it's as it warms up, I'm going to plant herbs in here so that I'll have fresh uh, basil and stuff for cooking. And then when I came out along here, you know, I had this one gap. I just had a, a floor tile across the back. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a really good idea because I never even occurred to me to do that. And I was kind of, you know, do I make the counter shorter? Do I put it across the window? I ended right. up blacking the windows out. Right, which is what most I, people do. I never thought of this, and this yeah. is a great idea. I, I, I pride myself on thinking outside <laughs> of the... I build boxes yes. I think outside of the boxes. Yeah. So, and then uh, back here, bedroom area. There's uh, drawers underneath for storage. Right now the bus is tipped, so it automatically closes that way. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sleeping in here, I padded the walls. So that I wasn't leaning up against wood. Oh, yeah. And it's basically, it's just carpet underlaying it with a nice little stuff I found. Up oh, really? Is that it? Yeah. Hmm. So it's, it's sort of a, a seat cushion kind of material. It's, yeah. It's not vinyl, but it's sort of. It looks nicer actually in person than on camera. Not that it looks bad on camera. But... That was interesting to do. So, um, but I put in these little map lights. Uh huh. So when I'm, I tend to wake up in the middle of the night and then want to read, so I can just have this, and it, it actually doesn't show outside that much. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's just enough nice light on the page to read, nice and bright. Marine map light. And then. Uh, so is that window? Is it the, that a retrofit that you? Yeah, I put every I I shut or I closed in all the sides, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, cut this in. In one of your window blanks. And they're, uh, they open up, they slide up, so I can have a little breeze in the, if I'm sleeping and it's really hot, I can do that or whatever. Um, I'm driving down the road, I'll open those things up and the, the air comes out in the front windows and back through here and out this back window and keeps things a little cooler. Okay. Cool. Uh, got a couple of fantastic fans. This one back here is a uh, thermostat, so right now I've got it off, but when that's, uh, it's nice is I put covers over them, so as I'm driving down the road, you know, I get going at 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, it's not that warm out or whatever, and then it warms up into the 80s, this thing will kick on and start pulling air through, so, mm -hmm. which is nice. Yeah. And then, uh, this is the bathroom, and unusual for most things, because I have a wheelchair lift, uh, I need I needed to make sure there was that much space, so I put the bathroom back here, and this whole floor, from the lift over to the composting toilet and back door to there, is one big shower pan. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I almost put my bathroom in the back. Yeah, it's my my shower. Just that. Hose myself down every once in a while. Very nice. So you're going to show off your waterless urinal. I know you have. Yeah. Recently had a video urinal. on that. I love that. That's awesome. Yep, it's, uh, it, after reading up on it and stuff, it wasn't that hard to do um, as far as making the drain for it. And every once in a while, I poured a little bit of oil. Right, yeah. They have the a, urine is, the oil is lighter than the urine and yeah. it seals off smells and whatnot. Yeah. It drains through and down into the gray water tank. Gray water, yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, and then composting toilet, the, the cat pan is right next to it. That's clever. And it. The only opening I put duct tape or not duct tape. I put a weather um, stripping. Yeah, weather stripping around the seat so that make it airtight. Yeah, there. make it airtight so it pulls in through the cat pan, across this, and then up and out through the roof. Very nice. And uh, and it doesn't smell. I can uh, testify to that. Yep. This is for the shower. Um, I've got a uh, big seven-gallon 
tank on the roof that I painted dark blue and fill that up with water, let it sit in the sun for a couple hours, it gets nice and warm a couple of times. <laughs> A couple times it's been a nice warm shower. Most of the time it's sort of an invigorating, not quite warm enough shower. Oh, so you don't have water heater at all other than that, huh? That's the only one I've got. Oh. Um, what I've done, which is uh, I've got this big galvanized bucket that we used to use when I did uh, made baskets. And I'll fill that up with some water, get it warm enough, and then do a uh, wash my hair over the sink and sponge bath. And, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I've lived with that water for many years and having a drain is the big thing really yeah. for me at least yep, and this when I take a shower I can pull these all down move the cat box but there's you know there's her cage but that gives me this huge shower uh, yeah I like this and part of this was because my late wife was in a wheelchair right and if she had lived and been traveling with me then there would be room in here to put a bath bench she could shower mm -hmm. um, and there'd be plenty of room. It yeah, be perfect crowded. wheelchair access. This is yep. yeah, and great idea. If I, I if I do get a water heater, I probably get a, a tankless one, mount it over here with the same kind of hose arrangement. Uh huh. But that will I can turn the uh, this into an outdoor shower. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, if I just put a couple fittings, I could put a curtain around it. And you can be showering at wall. Or or just wave to the neighbors <laughs> and smile. And, you know, ask them if I'm clean enough or should I keep going? Yeah. Very nice. Which they'll probably just yell at me and tell me to get, <laughs> get back in the bus. <laughs> but yeah, right now it's a lot of storage and things I'm trying to get rid of. Like I bought twice as much window film as I needed when I uh, put tinning on all the front windows because hey, it was cheaper to buy more than I needed than to buy just like they had 60 foot rolls or 50 foot rolls that wasn't going to work out. So I bought a hundred foot and I got 50 feet left. Well, you'll, you'll probably use it someday. Yeah, or I'll find somebody that somebody wants, else wants windows tinted. Sure, yeah. I can make them a deal. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's, right. uh, that's my boss. All right, well, hey, thanks a lot for the tour. No problem. And it's Steampunk Steve and it's uh, steampunksteve.tv. .tv, yeah, that's right. my webpage. Um, on on uh, YouTube, it's just... Uh, Steampunk Steve. And I'll put a link to his channel. Thank so you. If you haven't been watching the videos, check it out. You're yep. missing the good shit. I got, there's a whole lot of ones, me building the bus, and now I'm on the road. So, um, get close to 50 videos of places I've been to, places, you know, historic places. I like those. Or just observations along the road. So. Yeah, I like the Civil War ones. That was, because uh, I've always had an interest in the Civil War. Yep. Well, when I get myself. to the other side, back over the other side of the country, I'll be more of those. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't find the one in um, Arizona that was the farthest Civil War battle west, uh -huh. the farthest west. And it's supposed to be a monument. I couldn't find it. Oh, okay. Lots of cactus, but no monument. So. Wow. Oh, well. All right. Well, thanks again. Yeah. And we'll no catch problem. you next time. You're watching Mud Springer on YouTube. So uh, subscribe wherever that button is.